Hello and welcome to The Madden Report, Massachusetts' most informative, trustworthy, and yes, most exciting real estate show. We bring it wherever, however, and whenever to give you the information that you need. I am your host, Mark Madden of The Madden Team at Century 21 Commonwealth. Today I just want to do a quick video, talk about something that came up in the fourth quarter issue of the Real Estate Connections. Um, it's put together by the Greater Boston Board of Real Estate. Um, gives us some information on what's going on in the market. Um, you know, they do a little bit of plugging for themselves in here. But one thing that came up in this issue that I thought was important was it's something from the notes from the legal hotline. It's talking about changes in the smoke detector laws for the upcoming year. Uh, for homes sold on or after January 1st, 2010, New Year, it's almost here, can't believe it, December 10th already, they're making some changes as to what sellers are required to have in their home in order to get the approval by the fire department to go through with the, with the sale. I'm going to read straight out of the magazine, so it's word for word from the legal hotline. The regulations require two different types of smoke detectors to be in place depending upon the location in the home. First, in zones within 20 feet of a kitchen or bathroom, smoke detectors using photoelectric only technology will be required. Outside of that 20 foot zone, the regulations require smoke detectors using both ionization and photoelectric technology to be installed. Where this differs from where we are currently is that Yes, within that 20 feet of a kitchen or bathroom, you're supposed to have the photoelectric smoke detectors, but outside of that, ionization detectors were all you needed. You just needed the normal, go down to Home Depot, buy the one that's there, stick it up. Now you need a ionization and photoelectric in that second zone. Photoelectric only within 20 feet of a kitchen and bath. The, what that does is that a photoelectric doesn't take steam or the heat from cooking consider that a fire. Um, but outside of that, you want to have that ionization and photoelectric. It's just a quick little tip that we came across that I thought you guys should know. Um, anybody that has an offer accepted right now that might be closing in that early January period, you need to be ready for these changes. As always, any questions, give me a, give me a ring at 617-448-9481, or you can get me by email at mark at themaddenteam.com. Log on to www.themaddenteam.com, look up this, um, this blog post, and you'll be able to find this PDF format of this question just so that you can see it and read it and kind of take it all in that way. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you all soon.